then to Laos where I taught English to novice Buddhist monks. And then I saw this. This was the perfect it. Hi, I'm Donna and this is Olive Roaming. Come on in. Welcome to my bus. I love my kitchen because I've got these double doors here. I open them up usually when I'm cooking. It just lets in a lot of fresh air and people walk by and they think that I'm a food truck. So um, it develops a nice conversation. So my kitchen, my stove, which, you know, I can move around. So the reason I went with a Coleman stove is because I like to be flexible. Um, I like to cook outside a lot. And so this way, if I'm, you know, if the weather's bad, I can cook indoors, but if it's nice, I set up my table outside, it's outside, and uh, so I can cook al fresco. I've also got a flat iron griddle that I sometimes put here, or I set it up outside when I'm cooking outside. Um, my sink, I've got a Ravati sink. It's a nice deep sink. I can get a lot of dishes in here. And um, of course, with the lid, I can just cover it up when there's dirty dishes and I have company. Um, also, my faucet is super cool because it spins around. So when this is open, if I want to take an outside shower, I can take an outside shower. Um, going on from there, it's just, you know, your standard uh, everything stuffed in drawers as much as you can fit in there. And I've learned how to use things to keep things quiet because, you know, when you're moving, things are jingling around in there. So I've learned how to pack with using my kitchen towels and things like that to keep things quiet. So one of the favorite things about my kitchen are my lights. These are just really great touch lights and they're directional. So I can point them here. If I'm cooking outside, I point them outside. And at night, they really do light things up. So they're super cool. And then I've got my spices over here, my metal magnetic spice racks. And then this is just a basket that keeps the things that I use on a very regular basis. And when I'm traveling, I can just pick the whole thing up and put it in storage, which is so important. This is part two of my kitchen. It's my extension of my kitchen. I've got my refrigerator freezer down here. It breaks down into a refrigerator and a freezer, or I can use the whole thing refrigerator, the whole thing freezer. It's just worked really well for me. And then this is my food storage space. I've got, you know, all my little pantry items here, my food storage here. This probably lasts me a week to 10 days before I need to go shopping again. And then over here is my hanging closet. That's where I put my jackets and any nice tops that I don't want getting real wrinkled. So um, that works well for me. We are in my shuttle bus, which is a 2012 Chevy Express G4500 Duramax diesel. Her name is Olive, Olive Roaming. And Olive was a part of the Madison, Illinois Transit Authority. Uh, it was a 15 seat shuttle bus that was part of their runabout program. So she would go around picking up people that are kind of homebound and would um, take them to um, doctor's appointments, grocery store, things like that. And then when they hit about 160,000 miles, they will rotate a whole fleet out. I had started researching about a year before I actually did this. I was planning to do a Sprinter or a Ram, and then I saw this and I thought, it is such a perfect size because it's bigger than a van, but it's not as big as a schoolie. And it just felt perfect. And it's got all these windows, all this light. It was just a really comfortable size for me. I used to be a horse person, so I drove a truck. I pulled a three horse trailer. I was comfortable with the size, but I'd never driven a diesel. So um, it was kind of fun learning the ins and outs of a diesel and what, what it can do in the mountains. It's, it's pretty amazing. When I bought the bus, 
I started stripping it out and then the pandemic hit. So all of a sudden I had full-time access to building this thing out. I finished it in two and a half months. And uh, two and a half months, I was on the road to my first trip, which was out to Idaho and spent time with some friends that live out there and um, just had a great time exploring places that I'd never been before. We are now in the living room and my bench seat is a full 72 inches long. I wanted it to be long enough that it could be extra sleep space if I have somebody traveling with me. This is my evening space. If it's not nice outside or once it gets dark, this is where I hang out. It's also where I work during the day because I've got this seat, my computer's here, and um, I work very comfortably here. I can stretch out, my dogs can stretch out with me. I do have two dogs. So over here is my library. This is where I keep my National Geographics and my books and stuff like that. I have got my wonderful moving tabletop there. And then I cut this in two so that I can get into each section differently. This is basically storage, automotive storage tools. And then over here is the real bones to my electric. So I've got I've got 400 watts of solar on the roof. I've got a 3000 watt inverter and four batteries. It's never run to 50%. It's just been so great. So this is my passenger seat, my co-pilot seat. I only put it in this year. So I have had a couple of people travel with me and it's been a lot of fun, but they're relegated back here if they want a seat belt. This is my Oru kayak. Um, I am a kayaker and when I got the bus, I had a hard time deciding what kind of kayak I could bring with me. So I researched and found the Oru kayak. It's been perfect for me. People kept asking me, why are you doing this? Why are you, why don't you just buy a truck and an RV, a trailer? And for one thing, I wanted to make it my own rather than buying something that was pre-built. I wanted to design it. I wanted to build it myself so that I would know every inch of it, you know, inside and out. And I really wanted something where because I do camp off grid, I needed a place where if I needed to scoot out middle of the night or whatever, I didn't have to leave one vehicle to get into the other to leave. So for me, it's a safety thing to be able to go from my bed or my living room to my driver's seat and be able to pull away. It's a real comfort for me knowing that I am self-contained and can just leave in a moment's notice. Another reason why I decided to go with something like this instead of buying a pre-made vehicle is the cost. The cost of buying the bus, ripping it out, and rebuilding it, the equipment, the solar, the, the plumbing, everything, under $18,000. You're not gonna get that in a pre-made anything. So that was part of my decision too. Welcome to my bedroom. This is a full-size bed and it's just me, so it's big enough. And my dogs, they sometimes sleep with me too. I've got a Corgi and I've got a Greyhound. And um, the Greyhound lays up here when we're traveling. The Corgi hangs out in her bed, his bed up front with me. The air conditioner only operates when the engine is rolling. So I don't have air conditioning, but what I do do is because of the emergency exit, I've got a box fan that fits perfectly up there. So if it's hot outside, I can put the box fan there, plug it in and then hit it to reverse and it just sucks all the hot air out. I've not yet once had an uncomfortable night because of that. Um, I've got tons of storage underneath and this is where my bathroom is. 
So I've got a sea head dry compost toilet, which I love, and then all kinds of other storage in here. Under here is my 30 gallon water tank, fresh water tank that I plumbed to go to that sink. And um, 30 gallons I have found to be the perfect size. Again, I can go a week. I've got a window back here that I can just pull these drapes right off. And that's what I do usually when I am ready to hit the road. I pull the drapes down so that I can see in the back. The other thing I've got is my emergency exit on the top. I've got a telescoping ladder that I put up here and then I climb up there at night and I'll sit on the roof. This is my outside kitchen. I like to cook outside. And so I've got a table that I set up here. I've got my kitchen utensils out here. When I take this table out, I can access my plumbing, I can access my storage, just get in there and get stuff out or put stuff in. It's just nice to be able to cook out here, set up my chair out here, put my little roll up rug out here and make it my kitchen slash dining room slash living room. I grew up traveling. Our family did family vacations every summer, and I was always the one that never wanted to go home. I loved travel, and I, and I always have. When I decided I wanted to travel alone, it was kind of, a, um, kind of a healing process for some things that had gone on in my life, and I wanted very specifically for it to be solo. I wanted to go out on my own. I have done travel alone around the world. I have been to Laos where I taught English to novice Buddhist monks. I have traveled around the country um, alone. And I decided that I wanted a home to call my own rather than renting a car, staying in hotels, flying. I wanted to be able to go on my itinerary and not really have an itinerary, to just be able to get in the car and go. If this is something you want to do, really follow your dream and, and you know, pursue it. So you can check out what I've done on my Instagram account, which is Our Best Bus Life on Instagram. And you'll see where I've been and who I've traveled with, mostly my dogs and uh, the places I've gone. It's really been a lot of fun. I don't regret a second of it and I look forward to a whole lot more of it.